February 15, 1971. On the abandoned Cuyuna Iron Range that morning, the 1972 Scorpion Stinger went up against the top three makes of snowmobiles in the business. The object? To prove in head-to-head -head competition that the 1972 Stinger was the better machine. In a moment, the results of these tests. Back in December, the picture was clear. The Scorpion Stinger was regarded throughout the industry as a reliable machine, superior in almost all respects. Superior in almost all, but not in every respect. That was the goal. To make the Scorpion Stinger first in every single function that's important to a snowmobile owner. First in performance, reliability, ride, appearance, safety. The deadline was two months away. The last possible date when the final version of the 1972 Stinger could go into full production. Night after night, the lights burned on at Scorpion. Inside, eight teams of engineers were assigned to eight specific projects. Clutch, flotation, suspension, track, engine and muffler, controls, cooling, product design. Each of the teams had a single assignment make it the best in the business. This is the team assigned to the clutch. Let's examine the results obtained by this one team as an example of how each of the teams performed. The clutch team was charged with developing a clutch that would transmit more power from the engine to the track than had ever before been possible. As each refinement was made, it was tested by a dynamometer, created especially for this project by Scorpion engineers. Refinement followed refinement until just before the deadline, the clutch team came through in the clutch with the clutch. Final tests proved that this Scorpion engineered version could effectively transfer more power to the track than any other clutch available to the consumer. And so it went with each of the eight engineering teams. The deadline arrived and they were ready with the last possible refinement. But still, these were separate components. Each was the best as an individual entity. How would each perform when integrated into a total final assembly? This was the moment of truth. On the tight security quarter mile oval and the quarter mile drag strip in northern Minnesota, the prototype stinger went to the line against the survivors of elimination tests. Engine sizes were identical in order to make test results comparable. The new Scorpion stinger with a 440 ELO the 1971 Skidoo TNT with a 440 Rotex. The 1971 Arctic Cat Panther with a 440 Kawasaki. The 1971 Yamaha SS with a 433 Yamaha. Each driver was instructed to give it his all, to drive as if he were the factory rep for that machine. Timings were checked by police radar and multiple stopwatches. Testing began on the quarter mile drag strip testing acceleration, straightaway speed. Stinger first. Drivers changed machines after each run. Driver ability could not be a factor. Time and time again, the machines traveled the quarter mile. Stinger first. The engineering teams in charge of clutch, track, and suspension had done it. The best of the competition couldn't match Stinger's speed and acceleration. From here, the action moved to the quarter mile oval.
around and around they went, three laps to the heat. Time and again, Stinger burst. The difference was the Stinger track. Stinger flotation. Stinger steering. Here's one heat where the Stinger driver caused a bad start. Into the first turn. The other machines can't hold the turn. They slide up the high side. But the big red one comes through on the low side, gripping the track and pulling away. That's stability. Here's another look at that Stinger stability. Even the best of the other machines skitter and skip while the Stinger suspension holds steady and the skis and track fight hard. obvious now that the 1972 Stinger topped the industry in performance, speed, acceleration, stability. In every performance category, the big red one came through. But this machine was built to be ridden by ordinary people, not raced by professionals. What about comfort, convenience, safety? those elements of owning a snowmobile that contribute so much to owner satisfaction. Again, in head-to-head -head tests with the three best competitive machines, the big red one came through. In direct comparisons on vibration, engine noise, softness of ride, handling, the Scorpion Stinger rated tops. In a comparison of convenience features, it was Stinger all the way. In ease of starting, throttle location, brake location and light switch, engine access. Comparisons on safety features were just as stringent, just as demanding. The 72 Stinger was adjudged outstanding on every count, including steering response, braking power, safety engine cutoff switch, illumination. The tests were over. February 15th had come and gone, and the big red one stood alone. You've seen the results of the tests. The absolute proof is now in that Scorpion is the superior machine for 1972. Not just superior in two, four, or six ways, but we feel superior in every way that makes a snowmobile perform. We did not build these machines for the professional racetrack. We built them for you, the consumer, to use and enjoy. So now, meet the big red ones for 72. Super Stinger 2 440. Stinger 2 400. Stinger 2 340. Super Stinger 3 440. Stinger 3 400. Stinger 1, 293. Stingeroo 277. And just for the ladies, in gleaming midnight sun magenta, the all new for 1972 Stingerette 290. In 1972, the big red one is coming through.